how much propane does the Aldi system actually use and how accurate is the new AP products tank sensor that I installed a couple weeks ago. We're going to find out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. Before we get this week's episode started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd sure appreciate it if you take time to hit that subscribe button and the little bell beside of it so you get notified each time we put up a new video. And for real-time updates, you can follow us over on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can check out our brand new website, travelswithdelaney.com. All right, so we're gonna do an old-fashioned double feature this week. Two videos in one. And the two questions we're gonna answer this week is number one, how much propane will we actually go through when we run our Aldi system continuously for a period of time? And number two, if you saw our last video, and I can put a link to that up here for you, um, if you saw that video, you know that I installed the AP Products uh, propane tank sensor that's supposed to let us know how much propane is actually in our tank. And we want to find out just how accurate that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking our tank and we're going to weigh it using my luggage scale. So this is probably one of the most accurate ways that you can measure your propane is to actually take a weight on it. So we're going to go ahead and weigh this. I got this filled yesterday at Tractor Supply. Now one of the reasons I like filling propane tanks at Tractor Supply is because they charge me per gallon as opposed to a flat rate. So that way if you take it in and you're not completely empty, you're only going to get charged for what they put back in. So yesterday it took three gallons. So we're going to weigh it, we're going to hook it back up, and then we're going to look at our sensor and see what percentage it's reading. And then we're going to go turn that Aldi on and we're just going to let it run. And then at some point we're going to come back out, shut it off, we're going to look at our sensor, see what it's reading, and then we're going to take a, another weight and then we're gonna do a bunch of math and we'll find out exactly how much did we go through and also um, is it accurate in terms of where it said it was and how much it came down. So, all right, let's get started. The first step is we've gotta get this thing weighed. Right, we are weighing in at 35.18 pounds. So that's going to be our starting point. Now, how much will your tank hold? Well, on your tank, you will actually see your tank stamped with a tear weight, or it'll say TW. Most of the time on these 20 pounders, it's going to be somewhere around 17 to 18 pounds. This one actually says 18.4 pounds is the tear weight. And then theoretically, if you add roughly 20 pounds onto that, we'd be somewhere in the neighborhood of 37 to 38 pounds. Now, one of the things about propane tanks that you have to understand is they cannot fill them all the way up. So typically they'll only take them up to about 80% because there has to be room for expansion. And then this time of year here in Indiana where it is super cold out, they actually won't even typically go that high because the fear is with it being so cold out that gas is compressed that if I were to take it, let's say into the garage where it's significantly warm and it starts warming up, uh, if there's not enough room for it to expand, that's a problem. So what we find is both on our home tank here at Tall Pine Lodge and in these tanks in the cold winter months, they don't even fill them quite as full, which probably explains why we're only at about 35 pounds and they put in uh, a little bit less than they would, let's say, during the summer. Okay, let's get this tank reinstalled and we're going to get the uh, sensor read to see how much it shows on our sensor. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app, the Mopika app for the sensor. And we'll go ahead and I'm gonna tap on the one sensor. We only have one sensor because we only have one tank and it looks like we're at 73%. Now you'll notice at the top there, um, you'll see there's an indicator for the battery life on the sensor and those just use like a watch battery style. Um, I believe it's a CR2032. Um, I may need to change that out because it's looking low. Although the instructions say when it's really cold out, which it is again this morning, we're in the 20s here, that sometimes those battery life drops down, it's a false reading. Um, and then you can also see other indicators into, including the quality and the signal and it looks like we're good to go there. So we're gonna use that 73% as a baseline and let's go in and fire up the Aldi. Now because I had disconnected my propane tank to weigh it, 
I'm going to go ahead and bleed the line again. And all that really means is I want to get if there's any air out of the line before I try firing up my Aldi. Simplest way to do that is use your stovetop. Turn it on, light it, let it burn for a few seconds. That's going to get the propane flowing good. And then we can go ahead and start our test. So there we go. We've got a flame back here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. And now we, it seems to be flowing very well. So no air in the line. Next step, let's get the Aldi heating system going. Wow, 34 degrees in here. I think our Aldi is definitely gonna get a workout today. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna turn it on propane. We do not want it on the electric setting. I've got it set for 64. I doubt we'll let it go all that high, but we just wanna see over a period of time how much propane it uses. So at this point, we just need to be patient and wait, and we'll see how much propane we're using and how accurate it is. We'll be back in just a little bit. All right, it's been about eight and a half hours. The trailer is up to temperature. It's actually 64 degrees in here, and that's actually what I had the Aldi set for, so it's actually really nice and toasty. So now what we need to do is go outside, get a reading on our propane tank using our app for our sensor, and then we're gonna disconnect that tank, we're gonna weigh it, and then we can make some calculations, and we'll see how much propane we went through, and we'll also see how accurate it's reading. So. Let's go on site outside and we're gonna get that propane checked and then weighed. All right, I'm back outside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reading from our propane tank sensor. And you can see, I'm gonna put it over here. It's reading 59%. Now, when we started, it said the tank was 73% full. So that means we went through 14%. We'll have to do some calculating here in a little bit. Next thing I wanna do is let's go ahead and get this propane tank off of here and let's reweigh it. And now you can see we're reading 32.4 pounds. So I tell you what, it's starting to get a little chilly out here. Let's go back inside, run the math, and we'll figure out how much should we use over that eight and a half hours. And we'll also figure out, was this accurate with our sensor? So let's head on inside. All right, it's much warmer inside. So let's go ahead and just do some real simple calculations. We have our scale reading versus our sensor reading. And when we weighed our propane tank at the start of our test, it weighed 35.18 pounds. And when we finished that roughly eight hour period, it weighed 32.40 pounds. And so if we subtract those, we know we used roughly 2.78 pounds of propane. Now the sensor was reading 73% when we began the test, and it read 59% when we finished the test. So the difference there was 14%. Now we wanna convert that to pounds, so it's roughly a 20 pound tank. So 14% of a 20 pound tank gives us 2.8 pounds. Now that, when we compare it to our luggage scale reading, is pretty darn accurate. So I'm real happy with our sensor in terms of how accurate it's actually reading what's in there. Now, we used 2.8 pounds over an eight hour period, which means we used roughly 0.35 pounds per hour. So if that Aldi ran nonstop, I'm gonna do just a little bit more math. 20 pound tank divided by 2.8 pounds that we use gives us roughly seven times over, and that was over an eight hour period. So that means we could run 56 hours on that tank of propane, which would be roughly 2.3 days before we run out. And that's with the propane running nonstop, um, the Aldi heater. Okay. I say we go ahead and run this test one more time now that the trailer is up to temperature and let's see how much propane it uses when the trailer is actually at temperature and not trying to bring it up. Let's go back outside. 
All right, so let's run this one more time. This time we're gonna start at our ideal temperature of 64 degrees. Let's go about four hours and see how much we actually use when the rig is at temperature and you're just maintaining versus trying to bring it up from that low temperature. Let's go ahead and take a look at our app and it looks like we're at about 52%. So now let's go ahead and unhook the tank and measure it. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that propane off. Pull our tank out, get our luggage scale, and we've got a reading of 31.34, 31.34. So let's go ahead and hook it back up and we'll light it, let it run, and we'll see where we're at in about four hours. All right, it has been four hours now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our app and it looks like we're at 45%. Let's go ahead and pull our tank and we're gonna weigh it. All right, we've got a reading of 30.18. Sun's going down, it's getting cold. Let's go back inside and do those calculations and find out how much do we actually use over that four hour period. Good news is the trailer's nice and toasty. All right, much better in here. It's really getting cold outside. All right, now this time the trailer was already at temperature. So we were just trying to maintain temperature. Let's see if we used a significant amount less or not. So when we weighed at the start of this particular test, it was 31.34 pounds. Now I know some of you are gonna say, hey, didn't you end the last test at 32.40? Yeah, unfortunately there was a break in the testing and, and the heater was still running. So we did use some propane. When we ended this last test though, we were at 30.18 pounds. And so that gave us a difference of 1.16 pounds of propane that we actually use. Now, our sensor was reading 52% when we began and 45% when we ended, a difference of 7%. But like before, we wanna convert that 20, gallon, 20 pound tank. So it means we used roughly 1.4 pounds. Now. Here you see there's a little bit of a difference in accuracy, but because we're using such a small amount, who knows where this clicks over. I mean, we may have been just near 51% when we took that reading, or actually it may have just clicked down to 45. So I think that 1% difference on such a short period of time and a low amount, I'm not too concerned. I still think this sensor is pretty darn accurate. Okay. So now let's go ahead and figure out how much did we use. Um, 1.2 pounds divided by four hours means this time we use 0.3 pounds per hour. Now that's a little bit less, but not necessarily significantly less than what we used when we were bringing the trailer up from a really low temperature up to where we wanted it. Take that just a little bit further. We had that 20 pound tank divided by the 1.2 that we use, we'll just go with that lower number, which gives us roughly 17 times over, but that was only over a four hour period, okay? So that means, and again, I'm gonna use the roughly symbol, 68 divided by a 24 hour period. Are y'all keeping up with this math? Holy cow. And that means it would last us roughly 2.83 days. Now, I still think, and that's that's with a pretty extreme temperature. I mean, when you're camping and it is 30 degrees or less outside, of course you're going to burn through a lot of propane. Most of us, though, are probably going to go camping when we're turning that heater on if it's getting down at 250 or maybe the 40s at night. So hopefully this gives you a good idea or at least a rough idea of how much propane. Now, keep in mind, you may be also using propane for other things besides just heating with your Aldi heater. All right. So there you have it. We set out to answer two questions at the start of this video. First off, how accurate is the AP products propane tank sensor? And I feel pretty confident.